Hey folks, how are you all doing? I want to take this opportunity to document my journey in creating home theater within my basement. The theater itself is a completely do-it-yourself build and I want to take this opportunity to walk through the different uh, challenges that I've been through and uh, give you an overview of how I'm going about building this out. Um, so from that perspective, uh, just to give you an overview, the dimensions of the room are about 12.8 feet width by 15.5 feet length. So it's not a very big room. It's, I would say, a small to medium sized room. So getting a home theater built within the space um, is a little bit challenging, but a lot of people have really been very helpful to me. AVS Forum is a place that I've gone to to get all the help that I need to uh, plan out how to do this. And notable members that have been extremely helpful in the AVS Forum are Mississippi Man, Big Mouth in DC, Dan Hitchman. So big uh, shout out to them. Uh, this would not be possible without their help and uh, many others have contributed to the threads that I've started there. So definitely would like to acknowledge and uh, say thanks to these folks for all the help that I've been getting. Uh, from a design perspective, what I want to do is build out an AT screen theater. AT stands for Acoustically Transparent. Uh, basically, this is a this is something where when you go to a movie theater, you have a screen and there are speakers behind it. You don't really get to see the speakers, right? Some similar kind of setup is what I wanted to do. So the major challenges that I've uh, encountered in uh, going about with this is that it's a small room, right? If I look at AVS Forum, many of the room sizes that people have are uh, pretty big, right? It's a very small size kind of a theater. So getting an AT screen in that small theater, every inch, every centimeter, every millimeter is going to be extremely important to be able to conserve the space and get it done. Um, now, I want to go through a couple of different topics as I document this, right? The areas that I want to cover are basically uh, assist, give an overview of the system that I bought purchased, uh, tools that I've got uh, to basically help me with the build, uh, equipment, building, audio video wiring, electrical wiring, uh, support for projector, support for screens, uh, conduit insulation. The other thing I want to talk about was basically about the uh, some of the soundproofing. Uh, it's not a lot of soundproofing but something that I'm trying to do to basically minimize any kind of rattle uh, or ambient noise and insulation. These are the topics that I want to cover as I move forward and explain uh, how I'm going to go about doing this. Okay, so from a system overview perspective, given the size of the room, it's going to be an overkill to basically do anything like a, a four or a six at most speakers, right? So the room configuration that I'm planning here is really the 7.2.2. Uh, so that, that's the configuration that I'm planning. Uh, I have bought several pieces of equipment already um, and I want to tell you, give you an overview of what are the main things that I've purchased. Uh, for the speakers, for the left, center and right, I purchased the JBL Studio 590 Towers. Uh, th these are speakers recommended by Dan Hitchman and uh, I'm really glad that I got them at a very good price uh, on the JBL half uh, price sale. And then for the surrounds, I purchased the JBL Studio same line, but 580s. So 580s are a bit smaller than the 590, uh, but the same horn based tweeter. And uh, for the rear channels, rear surrounds, I'm going to repurpose two of my existing Martin Logan speakers. I may or may not put them in, but I'm still pre-wiring for the whole thing. Uh, from a receiver perspective, the receiver I purchased is the Denon uh, 4400H. Uh, I'm still on the lookout for a subwoofer and the projector, so I'm slowly building this out piece by piece. But uh, in a nutshell, that's basically the equipment uh, list that I purchased. I want to now walk you through uh, the pieces of equipment that I basically purchased or used for uh, this whole build. And uh, this is just to give you an overview of how simple it is and the minimum set of tools that you really require to get started with an initiative like this, right? These are the key tools that were really incredibly helpful in getting started with this whole uh, build. Um, it's clear saw. As you see it, it's a Ryobi. 
impact driver. <coughs> Drilling machine. Speed square. Titanium drill bits. Tape measure. Drag jig and two saw horses that I purchased from Harbor Freight. Basically, on the power tools, I got a really good deal because I got a set of like six or seven power tools from Ryobi. Uh, the original price was two ninety nine, but they were running a promotion for Father's Day, so they brought it down to one ninety nine. So one of the best pieces of uh, purchase that I've ever made. A very good, really very good deal uh, to get a whole collection of power tools together. That's been incredibly helpful in this build.